Yo, what is up, everybody? It's your boy, your dog, your homie, Ryan Mahalik here, and I'm in, I'm here with um Mr. Corey NWF today. Yeah, guys, Corey NWF here. Don't you know? <laughs> and today we are gonna be going against the Ryan Mahalik in what is it, King of the Hill? Series? Yes, King of the Hill. This is Corey's first game in King of the Hill versus the big bad Ryan Mahalik. So we'll see what he's got to bring to the table here. The map is Snowy Castle. It's a best of one. You ready to go? Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, let's go. Here we go. Okay. So, so if, if you, you were me, what would you recommend? Going on this map? Yeah. Um, I always like to go tack village ninja and the reason is this is a really good eco map for a few reasons one of them is that um oh crap i just put in boost back in one of them is because um the map has very little farm space so that means if you're, fa you're like an eco player facing a farm player they're not gonna have a huge money advantage because they only can place three farms in the first place right 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 so that's one reason why I like to go eco on this map, um, just because the map isn't necessarily as good for farming. Okay, okay. Plus this um, eco strat that I'm going, it's really good for this map as well because there's like some really good tack spots. Um, yeah, basically. Oh, nice. Okay, okay. I've seen <laughs> a lot of interesting strats like, uh, what do you think about Cobra, Bomb, and Sub? Cobra Bomb Sub's definitely a good one. Um, I wouldn't recommend going on this map because Boat Mortar and NFE are both pretty popular on this map. So those are strategies that both um, do pretty well against Cobra in most scenarios. So. Right, 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 right. So you've kind of got to think, when you're thinking of a strategy to go, you've kind of got to think of what the other strategies that are popular on that map and how the strategies fare against each other. Okay, okay. What about Boat Farm Super? The Boat Farm Super? <laughs> I um, would never recommend going that strategy. <laughs> so you're telling me I have a chance. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Okay. I don't know. If you're going Boat Farm Super, um, leads are going to be tough to defend for you, my friend. Oh, that's true. That's true. Leads are actually a thing. Okay. Got it. Right on. Here we go, here we go. Oh, by the way, for you guys watching, um, and you don't know who Corey NWF is, he um actually has a YouTube channel. I'll link him in the description box down below. He's growing pretty fast. He has like, well, you're 300 subs, you're almost there. Yeah, I just hit over 300. I yeah, congrats. Yeah, let's see if we can get him some more. Um, If you're watching this vid, go check out his channel. He has some pretty nice videos. Yeah. I so you go for your that. mortar here. Nice. Oh, yeah. I actually have a mortar. <laughs> Not super. I tricked you for a second. <laughs> yep. Yep, that's good. Delaying the inevitable. <laughs> yeah, no, I appreciate it. My content is like quick videos, having fun. But if you guys want to learn like how to win, how to play in the highest, you know, you already know. Ryan Mahalik knows where it's at. <laughs> you already know. I'm flattered. Yeah, buddy. All right. Okay. I feel like was I supposed to send you something? I don't um, think I'm supposed to. Feel you like passive. Yeah, you wouldn't be really able to get anything through my tack shooter until ye yellow balloons. And I'd have to send a lot of them. My thought is like sending a lead. Yeah. But yeah. I got you. I but, like that they made this map easy for the farm now. Oh yeah, for sure. That was definitely a good update. Um, that update altogether was good because it. It made tourneys boost only option, made better farm spots. Yeah. Oh, oh here it comes, buddy. Well, you're going to send some leads? No, am I? I don't know. Maybe I won't. <laughs> oh, dude, Ring of Fire. I forgot about Ring of Fire. Why is that even a thing? It's too good. Not fair. Are you going to do the classic Corey and WF regrow right, White Rush? Oh, my, my rush? No, not against that. <laughs> just totally... It's over now. It's terrible. Where's the surrender button? Here we go. Okay. <laughs> okay. Alright, so you've already got the camo detection on your mortar, so I don't have to send any camos. Normally, I wait for my opponent to send a few camos just so they waste a little bit of money, and then I get my mortar up. But. Oh, that's true. Yeah, that's probably the right move. Absolutely. Up your sending. Okay. 
Okay. You should be fine. Make sure to always keep your mortar targeted at the front. So then, um, once you like target your mortar later, the Bernie stuff's not going to do as good. So. That's true. Yeah. Absolutely. Oh, we went now for the, the double republic. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We're farming on here. Can I get away with triple though? That triple. Seems greedy. That seems greedy. You're making me nervous. I'm upgrading. Oh, I get some balloon buster. What He's... you know about my balloon busty? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did I still leak to that? I almost leaked to that. Holy cow. Oh, no. Okay, here we go. Okay, it's gonna be serious now. He gets up a destroyer. You should be good. You can target your mortar a little bit if you want to. Nice. Okay, okay. Now, on the bright side, I have a thousand eco right now. Oh, for real? Yeah. <laughs> I got that OP 260 eco. I don't even know. Oh, what's he doing? He goes for around 17 factory. Wow. I know. I don't know if that was greedy or not. I feel like... I can't really punish you. Yeah. Because if I sent, like, a Moab or something, you would just boost and defend, so... That was a good play. That was a good play. Okay, okay. So that's what you're supposed to do. Boost... Defend. Explain this defend part. Usually I'm good at boost, <laughs> but it's the whole defending thing. Okay. Yeah. All right. So copy. Got it. Got well, it. what I would have done if I sent you a mob or something, and like you have boat mortar, is put your destroyer on strong, um, and boost it like right when you see the mob, and then after the destroyer like kind of works down the mob and ceramic layers, you put it on first, and you target your mortars a little bit, and that just will defend. Nice. Now I have my mortars kind of overlapping, but have you seen like where the Bernie stuff's up front and then the balloon buster is like further to the right, you know, give it time to break down? Yeah, I would probably put the balloon buster on the second bend, honestly, because um, yeah. if there's like leads or something, it's likely that the balloon buster might just be hitting the black layer if it's targeted there, where you yeah, want it to exactly. hit a layer to actually pop down stuff. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. Okay, but your strategy... I love Ninja. I mean, NWF is Ninja Wizard Farm, so yeah. I'm a huge fan. It's definitely a great strategy. Um, The really busted thing about this strategy is that, so the thing that Ninja lacks is Pierce, right? right. It doesn't have a great right. Pierce. And the Monkey Fort on the village actually grants every Ninja shot an extra Pierce, which is really big because that's like 25% more popping power. Yeah. Um, and another thing is late game, if you have the Cold of Arms ability, that grants like a huge pierce buff, which just makes the ninjas absolutely really good late game when you use the ability. Oh, okay. Nice. Round 22 AI, what are you going to do here? Got some ceramics gonna, coming in. Uh, oh, he, go for that. <laughs> he goes for a aircraft carry. Aircraft carry. That's, that's not a play you normally see. <laughs> Do not. Yeah, you don't even know. <laughs> calculated. That's calculated. I wouldn't say I recommend doing that, but it it works. That's the big anti-stall. You didn't see that coming. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> oh man. Oh, he goes for another factory. Round twenty-three. I hear you want to get it before... Isn't, like, round 24 a quick round or something? Um, round 22 is very quick. Round 24 is pretty quick as well. So those are really good um rounds to get your factories up on. Okay. Round 23 yeah, so is really long. The round that oh, we're okay. on right now. Yeah, you have a lot of experience going late game and stuff. A lot of my games make it to, like, round... 14, <laughs> round 16, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, someone just dies to regrow rainbows. Yes, absolutely. What the heck? Oh, you're gonna die to camo balloons? <laughs> yeah, just camos that go past. That's, that's nice. Good. C calculated. So, are you gonna send me anything or are you just gonna try to take it late versus attack village ninja? This is a tough call. This is a tough call. I'm not quite sure. <clears throat> I feel like your strat will last longer. Oh yeah, it, it uh def Oh, are you dead here? No, oh, no, I calculated. I just I saw leaks on your but that must have been side a side based thing. 
That was like five calculated leaks. Oh, let me get the tax in the back. There you go. Pro play. Support. That's, yeah. Oh, I just, I stunned the balloon boosted again. Another cool thing oh, is yeah. if you place your tax like a little bit higher on the ending track, um, if they send you a mob, the tax will, since the mob's hitbox is a little bit bigger, the tax will actually hit it. Because of how this map is laid out. So it helps a lot defending like a mob if you just place tax in the back. Oh, he gets up the the um artillery battery. Oh yeah, and the big one in game. In game, of in course. Game. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, we're going against Ryan. Okay, we probably need 20, 20. Here we go. Let me see here. Get a big one down there. I um I don't think you have any chance of winning this game, to be honest, Corey. Ryan, you and I both know that was the fact before we started this, okay? I appreciate, <laughs> I appreciate like, you know what I mean? The clarification. Allowing, um, just allowing this to happen for just another minute, you know what I mean? Yeah. We hit a yeah. perfect time frame, absolutely. Oh, I'm boosting. Oh, I'm what? Boosting. Oh, he sent, he sent me a ZOMG. Oh, yeah. no. What shall I ever this, do against a ZOMG? I'm, I'm very sorry about this. This is, this is it. Wait, what are you doing? Why are you popping it? Stop it. That's too much. Alright, now I'm just gonna eco more. That's like, you know what I mean? Like, you know, it's like, you know what? I'm not only gonna defend this, I'm gonna <laughs> eco more. I'm gonna, I'm gonna continue ecoing. Wait, what happened to my... What just happened? That didn't even make it to the <laughs> second bend. That's awesome. Yeah. I feel like I can't rush no more. I feel like that's it. So another thing Wait. um to note is you sent that like on round 28 or 29. ZOMGs actually get double health on round 30. So if you just waited like a round or two, that would have been double as strong. Oh, so does it get doubled every round? So no, it gets doubled on round 30. And then um it gets like, I don't know the exact difference, but I think it's like 20% increase every round following 30. Right. Right. Okay. So we're just gonna send you a few here. Just a few. Just one or two. Just one or two. I don't know. I feel, I feel like that's the case. Pause for dramatic music. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> cue the cue the bonus clip music. Yes. Okay. Hopefully. Okay. I'm just gonna get that. One, two, three. Okay. Just seven aircraft carriers. Good. All right, time to shred. I use the village ability. Wait a second. What? Did, what happened? Where did my ZOMGs go? <laughs> I sent like fifteen of them. They're gone, bro. Bro. I told you this strategy is absolutely busted. That is insane. That is like. I don't even know if I could defend one ZOMG. <laughs> No, you could defend one. You'd not. You need to probably bow pull though. Yeah. Speaking of bow pulls. Oh, look at that micro. The Cory NWF micro. Micro. Oh no, that was good. Have you ever done the micro challenge before? I have not because Ooh. it's. It sounds like you have to be good at micro to do that. Like you have to actually. Like, yeah. Buy and sell. So we're waiting. We're just waiting for the right. We're training. We're in the training world. Okay, what is that? Uh, what, it's, some what it's some ZMGs, just just what a few. That? Just what is that? What is happening? Okay, wait for it. Wait for it. Oh, mortar stall. Didn't see that coming. Wait a second. Uh, what do you? What's your plan here, Corey? My plan. I'm gonna defend this. Watch this. I'm gonna just keep mortar stalling. Uh, do you, don't you have boosts? Yes, against you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Corey, this isn't wait, looking good, bro. Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second, <laughs> wait a second, wait a second. Camo, camo region reds, camo region reds. Okay, wait, that's not working. This isn't, bro. This isn't CC, Corey. 
Bro, oh, just, uh, bro. he goes down. <laughs> that was, hey, that was awesome. Hey, good, good, good first cost game for you though. Good way to be introduced to the competitive yes. scene. Super unlucky. Awesome though. Yeah. I've never felt so good about losing. All right. Well, um, I hope everyone enjoyed the video, and if you did, smash that like button with your forehead and smash subscribe button as well. Check out my boy Corey on WF. He's gonna be linked in the description box down below. Do you have any closing words, Corey? Uh, subscribe to Ryan. All right. You heard the man. Ryan Mahalik out. Peace.